One UI 9 could finally solve one of the most frustrating problems mobile gamers have faced for years. If you enjoy gaming on your Galaxy phone, there is now another solid reason to look forward to One UI 9, which will be built on Android 17. While Android devices support a wide range of gaming controllers, button mapping has always been a headache, especially when using lesser-known controller brands. Android 17 appears ready to change that by introducing native controller remapping at the system level. A major controller upgrade is coming with Android 17, and it is clearly built for gamers. Early code discovered in recent Android Canary builds suggests Google is reworking how Android handles game controllers, as reported by Android Authority. The latest builds reveal two major developments. First, Android 17 introduces a new system permission called Android Permission, controller underscore remapping equals. Second, Google is developing a virtual gamepad feature that allows physical controllers to work even with games designed only for touch input. Currently, Android supports predefined button layouts mainly for popular controllers like Xbox and PlayStation. However, if you use a lesser known controller or want to customize button positions, Android quickly shows its limitations. Many gamers rely on third-party apps that use accessibility-based tricks to intercept inputs, but these solutions are often unstable and introduce noticeable input lag. Android 17 plans to fix this problem with a built-in remapping engine at the system level. The newly discovered virtual gamepad acts as a software-based controller. When a button is pressed, Android translates that input into a virtual command and sends it directly to the game because the game reads it as a standard controller action. This method should even work with titles that only support touch controls. The code also hints at a new controller settings section where users will be able to view connected controllers and customize remapping options easily. Although Android 17 is still several months away, these early signs show Google is finally taking mobile gaming seriously. For Galaxy users, Android 17 will arrive as One UI 9, which is unlikely to launch before July 2026. If this feature makes it to the final release, One UI 9 could become a game changer for mobile gamers. Stay tuned, because this might be one of the biggest quality of life upgrades Android gaming has seen in years. Now what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section below. Samsung Support Exposed – Fake Promises About One UI 9 Better Revealed Samsung's customer support advisors are under fire for misleading consumers and fueling false expectations about upcoming software availability. A viral post on X shows Samsung chat support falsely claiming that the One UI 8 beta had a broader release. This response indirectly suggests that next year's One UI 9 beta will also lack any real potential for a wider rollout. Development of One UI 9 is expected to accelerate once Samsung introduces One UI 8.5 early next year. This major upgrade will be based on Android 17, which is almost confirmed to arrive alongside Samsung's next-generation foldable devices. Meanwhile, the One UI 8 beta program remained restricted to limited markets as usual. But Samsung chat support falsely claimed that New Zealand received the One UI 8 beta in September 2025. Yes, it's true that the beta expanded in September, but that expansion was about device coverage, not market expansion. The Galaxy S23 series, Z Fold 5, Z Flip 5, and Select Galaxy M models joined the beta program earlier this month. This misleading support response couldn't have come at a worse time, right when Samsung had already begun rolling out the stable update. Even if you imagine a wider, better release in the future, this leaked chat proves there's no real potential for a global one UI 9 beta program. What it really shows is that Samsung's chat support staff often appear unaware of the actual beta rollout status. By making inaccurate claims, they're creating false hopes and confusion among users. Samsung urgently needs to fix this communication loophole before it sparks further backlash. Critics already argue that the company lacks a clear strategy for keeping consumers informed. While official press releases do appear on the Samsung newsroom, the company avoids publishing tentative timelines, leaving users vulnerable to fake leaks, misinformation, and support missteps. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section.